So I think this video needs no true introduction. You may have been fooled by the thumbnail and title of the last video. You can see three games left this season. Two good games before that. Trois, Bristois and Lorient. You'll see why they're important, but you can recognize that this one is Real Madrid Champions League final. Very excited. And the gap between us and PSG is four points in the league. If they lose the first game, we will win the title as well as potentially the Champions League. Very important game. Unbelievably important. Absolutely extremely important. Three games, one final, and we can decide what happens. This team should be going out on a bang, We're rotating it back to normal, it was changed. And that is our best team, isn't it? No, it isn't. And Golo Kante, sorry mate, it's got to be Kamara ahead of him. As we'll be doing the highlights for Twa, then we'll be playing the next two to see if we do seal the trophy. And of course the Champions League final will be quick simmed. I'm only joking, it'll be played. But we start here with Twa, they've got a fully fit team, Hamza Chowdhury, Balde. Difficult challenge in itself. Challengers here, there, and everywhere. Do we get the first chance? No, yeah, we'll go to them. We have to be a bit more careful than that, but we did manage to get the tackle in. Skamaka, that's miles away from him. And it's worth remembering if we do get beat here, or anywhere in the next three, we still sit on top. We have the four goal or four point cushion, as Simikan's not letting them score. Good, good tackle. Now Kamara forward. Here is Reynoso. We'll take it with the Argentine. It cuts the highlight off, but hey, it gives us a penalty in exchange. I'll take that. I mean, this could be a huge goal in terms of winning the league title. Skamaka goes to that top right. He loves it. My voice gets a bit of gravel thrown on it, but I don't care. 63 minutes gone on the clock. It's a smart turn from... Hakim Ziyech, who's allowed to run with this, has got a man closing him down, but he goes for it. Still, we dominate this ball. Reynoso through that middle, straight on to Skamaka. Bruno G back in the team. Now into Gianluca again. He goes for one. Palacios can't catch that. And the final whistle is blown. Are the celebrations huge or not? Can't really tell. I mean, Reynoso's on his knees. I think we've won the league. I think PSG have failed to win. It's a shame we're away from home, but that's it. That's it! We've done it! Leon champions after game one! It only took a highlight package to win the league. Now that, that to me is a bit cheeky and astonishing. Really, really astonishing. It didn't show anything but that though. No trophy lift. I'm guessing that might be at home. There was definitely no trophy lift as we haven't won. Have, have we? No, we haven't won the league. That's why. We've not done it. We've still got a game to go. We've still got to beat PSG. They drew, so it takes us losing both games. PSG just got to win both and still keep that goal difference of four above us. So it's difficult for Paris, but still, we've done ourselves huge favours. And the best thing about this is it gives us a chance to play the same team again. And if we do win this, we can fully rest, play all you for the last game, save our main boys for the Champs League. Blanc's going to try and motivate the boys in the press conference though. They will need that extra push that we hopefully offer them. Stadium is set. I mean, it's not the biggest of stadiums. I would have loved to win it at home, but I'd rather win it now and give the players the rest than just lift it in his own stadium. If they're lucky enough to get a ticket to this West Star Stadium, I mean, they'll see us lift that trophy. I want to be saying the F word after this. And no, not swearing. Fantastic. Need to earn it though. Cardona slid in there. Not got it. Lacroix slipped through. Or oh, Lacroix let his man slip through. These hosts be negative Nancy's as Lopez almost scored. They're going to try and actually not give us a title. Just let us win. Just let us win. Honorat from range. That's easy. Easy. Easy, Ziek running with the ball as well. Can he make it easier? That's a ball across. That's a ball into Sinistera. That's the league wrapped up as it stands. Luis Sinistera just sticking out a leg in the middle and the defender nowhere near him. Beautiful as Honorat Lacroix. I was scared of a penalty there. It's a good job we didn't give it away. Really good job as Bruno G again on the ball. Finds Hakim. Go on, Ziyech whip another good ball in. Skamaka arriving for one of them headers. It's coming to his element a little bit late in this career as Tagliafico. That's to Skamaka who peeled off. Couldn't hit it. Bruno, good save. Very, very powerful. In Very, very powerful as I think we'll end this half off with a Kamara shot to the keeper. That is half time. Lads. We are 45 minutes from league winning success. Brilliante, Kamara, down that middle gap, finds Skamaka again. We need another to kill this off. But we won't keep the ball. Ziyech now on to Bruno. 
Bruno has to steady himself. Use the option of Malo Gusto, the world's best right back, into Bruno again. The G link up. We can't find the gap. We really can't. We're going to struggle for a second goal. However, Ziyech across the box. No one there. Gamaka has to be. However, he wins the header down. He manages to keep hold of the ball. Ball in from Ziyech. Not great. And Tuna signed from them as well. The Mexican. That's a brilliant signing. Header! Oh, Clement with the cement power header. Really not long as Kante and Kites has even got an appearance. He's going to try and score. And the fans get on to him a little bit for that. Feel sorry for him. Feel very bad, but we shouldn't feel bad for ourselves now. That's number one over the line. The title for the second time in three seasons. Luis Sinistera was the man who will see us lift it into the Brestoy air at night. But we still don't get to see the trophy lift. I don't get that. I really don't. I am not clicking skip. This happened in the Gillingham save. It's done now though. I don't know why we haven't lifted it. Maybe it waits till we're at home. That would make more sense. Then I wanted to rest a couple of players for this. So I think what I will do is I will put like a young squad out and then keep like Lacazette to lift. Saying that it's a week's break. Maybe not. Maybe not. One thing I didn't realise is how many games we've won this month. As it's a very rotated team that still should do the job. We've got Laka, Tagliafico, N'Golo. They're all the leaders, but I am going to pick Lacazette to be the captain in this final squad in the league. He should be lifting league on with a highlight package against Lorient. Final time we'll get to say poor man's Morecambe. That hurts. But that is what they are, as Lacazette will start here. He's not got much pace, but the defender's not running close to him. Lacazette deserved a goal. Manone, the man to save it as Esposito. I've got a good striker there, but no match for Lacroix. It'll be a quick highlight package, this. Cherky across into Lacazette again. He's not quick, but he runs away from defenders and shoots terribly. Still, result doesn't matter much, Lacazette. Waits for the run of Ryan Cherky. Can he help him out here? He can't even kick the ball. It's Bruno Guimaraes. Ball through to Cherky. Laka deserves this leaving goal. And Alexandra Lacazette will play his flute. Oh, no, he even won't. He had the chance to play it for the last time. And he bottles it. We should be going out with a bang, however. The header away from Lacroix. Bruno doesn't get his foot on it. Bruno does now. Cleared the ball. And that is the final whistle. 1-0 win. And finally, we get to see the trophy lifted. Alexandra Lacazette is worthy. This will be brilliant for him. The second time we get to do it in this save. It's high into the Leon sky. League on champions. But it's definitely not where we stop today. And now the boys rest. They go again. A huge Champions League fixture. I say huge. It's the biggest. It's the biggest. No beating around that bush. We'll go ahead and win it. As is this Tiago? Yes, it's Tiago. I get he's a club legend. He may get off the bench. I'll stick him on the bench ahead of Salisu, but it will only be a cameo if he gets on. I know he used to be a really good player, but the fact is he's not anymore. The squad I'm going to put out to try and beat Real Madrid, which of course we will not be the favourites for, is this one on screen right now. At least we have one trophy in the locker. I would love to beat Real Madrid, but do I think it will happen? Not really. It's at Benfica Stadium, Vincent Legvot. Don't know how he is as a referee, but I'm really hoping he's a good one. We shall round up the season after this. Big, big occasion. You can see the streets filled. Mostly Madrid fans. I'm guessing Portugal's next to Spain. Think that's unfair. It's also Loren Blanc versus the mastermind of Carlo Ancelotti. Very difficult. The recruitment's been brilliant. Benzema and Neymar Jr. are on the bench. Leport, Fringpong, Luke Shaw, June Mene, Jude Bellingham. Yeah, you can see why it is labelled the best team in the world. This is our second Champions League final in our long career mode so far. This may be won within three seasons, though. A brilliant fact as now a free kick given away from Fringpong. Dangerous position, Tagliafico's won it in. Come on, what can we do? We're going to try and whip this in. It's going to be Emmanuel Reynoso. That's too far towards the back post. Very poor as Vinny tried to get a ball in Simican. Just pass that short. Can we play out from the back? Oh, that's neatly done. Bubakar Kamara does not panic, even though the start of his name is Boo. Sinistera ready to run. Oh, he's cut inside. He's playing brilliantly at the moment. Luis Sinistera! Very close. Too many now onto Jude Bellingham. Kamara gets his tackle in. And Kamara will stick it down the line for Skamaka on the end of this. Here is Skamaka cutting inside. He's got the pass here. Reynoso! Oh, he's treacled wide. We are taking the game to Real. Vinny Jr. 
We had the poor version of him in our league. Now into Jude Bellingham. Don't blow that whistle. Phew. I think it was a foul as well, but nothing given by the referee and Hakim Ziyech to try and run away is against Luke Shaw. Turns inside. Passing to Skamaka. Now on to Reynoso. Another chance. It's getting closer as no. No, 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 no. Whack that away, Lacroix. Diogo Jota to run slowly. Putting a ball through. Jude Bellingham. Who we beat at his days in Dortmund. Beating us here with Madrid. The worst time to concede in the game as well. Vinny's flick. Took it away from Simican. Lacroix not chasing. And now... It is a huge task. Get in that dressing room, boys. We need to calm down. We can win this if we just get an early goal and just play the way we have been playing all in the league on season. Let's show the world what we're capable. However, Jota, Rodrigo, big save, Lopez. It's just the rest of the team that isn't putting it fully in because we're giving corners away to them too easily. It's a brilliant header and another scoop save. If we had to be victorious, the keeper's got to take credit. Ziyech on a run. Hakim Ziyech's around his men. Back post, Luis Sinistera. It's leveled. The Colombian's on fire. He's left Leeds United. He's at the back post. Post. He's getting the header past T-Bone. So gonna be careful though. I'm very, very pumped up for this now. Level again, but we've got to make sure we understand we're not winning so far. We're not winning. However, we could be. Reynoso. Is he onside? It looks like no one's stopping him. Reynoso with the dribble. Skamaka's found a gap. It's Gianluca Skamaka to now put us in front. What a turnaround. Fantastic turnaround. The Italian found space to just fire it past T-Bone again. We actually might win the Champions League on a comeback. This would be amazing. Reynoso. He's tackled the defender as well. Laporte's not got it. Reynoso. So he's surely took out. Don't believe that as we've made 39 passes. 39 passes and we're winning in the Champions League final. We don't deserve to be. Well, I say that, but we're the only team attacking Turkey. Skamaka again. Reynoso. Now he's found Turkey back on side in the middle to Bruno G. Five minutes left. Lataro Martinez. Oh, no. He skipped past us. Lataro. I wanted to get Lacazette and Thiago Mendes on. Don't let them score now. We want to be lifting the trophy. We've got two minutes, lads. Two minutes. And the changes have been made. We're into stoppage time. Thiago Mendes not playing a minute. But now he's in the Champions League final. Atano Martinez finding the ball through, though, and Neymar Jr. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lautaro. Shot comes in. Lopez with the save. The biggest save. He's been phenomenal in the final. I can't speak. I can't speak! I can't speak because we've done the double in one. Sinistera and Skamaka. Sinny and Scammy. They made this Leon save despite how my favourite club Grimsby was and a phenomenal save. They made this save ten times more successful as we did manage to get Lacquer on right at the end. Thiago Mendes, Doliso, all these season winners. The team didn't change much at all. The Champions League ribbons, basically the same colour they always are. As Lacazette lifts it down low. Didn't get this at Arsenal, but there he has it at Lyon. Champions League winners along with League Un winners if we could have got the domestics right. Still, I don't care. We've done it. We've done it in Portugal. And we have completed the double we aim to do at the beginning of this season. I can't believe we've done that, lads. We'll have a brilliant save next time out as well. But this Leon one takes the biscuit. League and Champions League double is something we've rarely done before. Something just clicked with them players and gave us that trophy. The team talk was given. The team talk worked. And oh, we've had some of the world's best players here. And to end this series out, there's going to be a roundup, but we'll do it in a different fashion. Make it a bit better. We're not only going to give player of the season out, we're going to give a couple of awards. Player of the save, underrated player, Champions League man, league man. We'll do them all. Stats-wise, look at the man who is in front. Gianluca Scamacca, 34 goals, 11 assists. Reynoso, 13 and 11 from midfield. Ziyech, 11 and 13. He went under the radar. Finisterra managed to bag 10, which surprises even me. Lacazette got nine off the bench all them times. Cherky doing okay. Bruno as well. A lot of the lone E boys doing well. But unfortunately, we will not get to see them in their full form. Right, starting with player of the season, I feel like... That is already self-explanatory. Gianluca Scamacca has been nothing short of phenomenal. He did everything correct. Scoring them goals, lifted us to both trophies. He's my... 
player of the year. And now we're going for a different one. We won't do league, but we'll do Champions League player of the year. Now there's a shout for Emmanuel Reynoso, but I'm going to go for someone you may not have expected. We're going to give it to Mohamed Simikan. I thought his performances at the back was sensational. Defence doesn't get enough credit. You only mostly see the highlights of us because, of course, we won it by scoring goals. Yeah, Simikan will be my player of the Champions League for this Leon save. As the next one will do signing of the save. This one's a very, very close one between Bubakar Kamara. Of course, Skamaka's in there, but I don't want to award a player to. Kamara and Reynoso it's between, as I think I already know who it's going to be. It's got to be. Emmanuel Reynoso came as a nobody in season number one. Has an impressed pedigree so much. Like, he's been too good. Reynoso, that man, has two more awards. The most underrated and the player of the save. It's underrated could have been Reynoso again, but I'm going to save it for someone you might not expect again. Nicolas Tagliafico. Attackers win your games, defenses win your titles, and the left back from Argentina has been an old man. He's just scraped it over Lopez because I feel like I've never hardly mentioned Tagliafico. He is just underrated by far. 85 rated. He's progressed in his old age. Just absolutely sprung. Highlight years not phased him as the player of the save has to be our highest rated one. He's been phenomenal. Wanted by everyone. Malo Gusto. Another defender. Yes, three defenders. But Malo Gusto, we've not spoke about him enough. He has been sensational. 22 year old. 89 rated. By far the best right back in the world here in France. At the new best team in France. That is it for the awards. And that is it people for the save it's been so successful but we're gonna end it right here thank you very much for watching we'll get another save running back up tomorrow so i hope you guys look forward to that take care of yourselves in a bit and i'll see you all in the next one thank you for watching leon take care and peace